why everyone's passing up and not going to the lanes. Uh, they want to have a hit start on the jungle. This concept of jungling uh, is basically to have one guy just uh, killing all the neutral creeps. You know, they go to level up in their own little area. Ooh, Lee sees the space cool. checks just quickly. He just decides to run straight in. <laughs> exactly. get to check if they're in there. Currently stealing their raids. So just trying to get a little bit of golden experience on the raids. Oh, Nocturne oh, comes in. Like now Lee Sing might be in trouble here. Oh. Lee Sing trying to get away, but Nocturne straight onto him. Brand comes in round the side. And yes, Lee Sing yes, looks like goes down first us. blood to the girls. Oh, excellent. That was a very nice pillow play. Will they get the double? Yes, uh, looks like... Uh, two kills, months. The doctor getting that nice little kill of on Ooh. to Garen goes down as well. That was very close. But Lee Sin was a bit over aggressive there, I feel. So, uh, looks like the girls have a 2-0 advantage. Yeah, getting early, uh, early gold on the board for the girls. So, two love up, as you said. Very critical of those kills. Uh, the game masters yeah. maybe being put to shame. Maybe not so masterful after all. Totally. So, now they see some leading action. Caitlyn uh, going to bottom to play with Soda, probably against uh, Ash. Yeah, so we're going to have Jana Ash bottom. Uh, That's great. We've got middle, we're going to have Annie versus Bran, which is what we predicted, and then top is going to be uh, Garen versus Jarvik 4. So that's going to be a, a pretty nuky lane at the top there. Not going to be, oh, wouldn't expect to see too many kills up there. Oh. You never know though. Uh, and then obviously Lee Sing is going to be in the jungle, as is Nocturne. I'm looking at mid right now, and um, I see Bran against Annie. That's uh, quite a tight duo. Annie has some really good nukes, while the other end, a good Bran player, easily outzone uh, almost any character in the lane. So, we're just going to see uh, what kind of damage is being done at the moment. Bran has started off with boots and a few pots, so that's good for lane sustainability. Uh, if I'm going wrong, Annie should be doing the same. Oh, but she misses uh, Pillow of Flame right there. Now one of the things that you'll see, uh, which is probably different to... Ooh, ooh, Nocturne just spotting Lee Sing in the jungle. Oh, Lee Sing spot the, uh, the pot and managed just to get away. Uh, almost, almost connects to Lee Sing right there. Nocturne would have been pretty brave to, uh, to come follow on that. Yeah, one thing I was going to say that you see uh, in competitive play rather than in your public service yep. is last hitting, the criticality of last hitting. Rather than harassing the champion, if you last hit, uh, the more minutes you get, the more gold you get. And Believe it or not, 15 minutes is worth a kill, so uh, it's worth just sitting there picking your way up those last hits because that's going to get you a lot more golden efficiency uh, as well as XP than actually harassing champions. It looks like uh, Ash is all by himself at bottom. I don't see any other uh, champs there. So, uh, so oh, it looks like Jana decides to show herself throwing that tornado upwards. Uh, Jeps, of course, one of the very good uh, Jana players that I know of personally. So, uh, it's going to see some crazy uh, competition between Sona and Jana as support in both lane. Yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, ooh, look, oh, a bit of a tap like at the top of the moment. Jarvan 4 under attack from, uh, from the Garen, but Garen pulls off, gets it down to about half health. Uh, <laughs> Up tornado hits Kate in upwards. Looking for a gank at top at the moment. As uh, Lee Sing comes up, Garen's up there, Jarvan 4 doesn't take the hit, it's going to get absolutely oh. done here. Here we go, yeah, that and that blood was... goes down, Garen yeah. takes a uh, kill in the top lane. That was a great gag done by Lee Sin there, uh, Jarvan didn't just get a chance actually. Annie's getting harassed fairly hard in the middle of the brand. I always say overpowered, but Annie herself is very OP. So, uh, exactly. you know, that's a fairly equal nuking match in the uh, in the middle there. And uh, Brand doing very, very well to uh, push her back behind her tower. Oh, She's already looks, level oh, five. Oh, she flashes away. She flashes away. Uh, being a little afraid of the sit coming on. Good call. Because these sits burst damage can be pretty high. Uh, even for a jump up. A sign of a good jungle, a lots of uh, lots of ganking, lots of uh, pressure coming in, and this Lee Sing has been uh, already at top, just pushed back onto mid, uh, which is allowed one Garen to move forward, and then also Andy to come out from her tower. But Andy looking uh, a little bit hesitant because her health is quite low, and uh, a good hit from the brand will do some damage to that. Yeah, poor boy Andy getting uh, out pushed in mid. Hopefully, uh, once she gets to level six, though that uh, Timbers can be pretty strong and can shut down Brand if uh, she's fast enough. So, well, I'm looking forward to seeing when all hit the level 6 and all get the ultimate. Lee Sing is coming for a gank at bottom here. Jana might be in trouble. Ash goes in, oh. Lee Sing goes in. Nice flash comes out from... Uh, that was a great flash by Soda. Yeah, nice flash getaway there from... Uh, she barely missed from the uh, that Tempest. Yeah, barely missed that Tempest right there. Lee Sing could have struck the ground, slowed Soda. Uh, she probably would have died. But that tiny flash saved her right there. 
So that flash was one of her summoner spells uh, just getting away. And you can see that she's still on the way off, but she is a healer, so she might be able to get back up. Um, the key, though, is to be pushing the lane because that enabled her to get too far forward before um, and get ganked. So it depends whether or not Lee Sing decided to go back down and, uh, and do some more damage that way, or whether or not he would just go back into his jungles and onto his routine. Uh, it looks like Zarin's having a, having a great time. He's currently in the meta game. He is a very strong top laner, and he is punishing Javan whenever he gets too close to the creeps. Doing that crazy spin, uh, we call it judgment in this game. And yeah, we can see why he's one of the better top top soloers uh, right now. Yeah, Garen's getting a good feed on at the top from what I can tell. He's strong, yeah. The, uh, the jungler is making his way through at the moment. Having a quick look at the uh, the creep score, the, the game master's slightly in front, but um, Ash doing very, very well, um, leading the way for the board. Game, and the girl is not doing too badly. Obviously, item still pretty low at the moment, but we'll see them come forward. All right. So uh, we can see Eddie be a bit more aggressive now, dropping that stun uh, from the disintegrate onto Brand. She knows, she knows that Brand has no mana, and she's trying to be as aggressive as possible here, pushing it away, denying it that XP. Uh, she just wants to make sure she can finally catch up from all the times that Brand has punished her in game. So if you're watching this in the audience and wondering what you're watching, this is League of Legends brought to you by Garena. We've got an uh, exhibition match on the stage. It's uh, the Game Masters from Garena versus the girls team, uh, uh, Team Elegance. And uh, at the moment, um, two kills to one in favour of Team Elegance, but the goal slightly probably in favour of the, uh, the Game Masters at the moment. As we see a push on the top uh, from Lee Singh and Garen. Well, so at the moment it looks like Nocturne has finally decided to show his face, ganking out the Eddie. Will she die? Yes, at first, that's her second kill of the game, uh, wiping out Jasmine before she casts any spells. Yeah, nicely done by Nocturne there, coming in and ganking on the middle eye. I can tell you, wow, Annie wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> oh, I can imagine, she uh, yeah, she just died. Uh, not, too, not too uncommon for me right now. Huh? It looks like bottom, uh, finally Caitlyn, they've all reached level 6. So this is time where we realize, oh, it looks like Cataclysm drops up to Garen. He flashes out just in time. Ooh, oh, Jarvan jumps forward misses. with the flag toss, doesn't manage to catch up, but a lot of damage done by Garen there. He's still keen on pushing forward. Yep, she was trying to do the knock-up on uh, Garen, but failed. So, so far, the, the place with least action is the place where you normally get to see a lot of it, which is down right. Uh, with Ash and, uh, and Jana. But now they're going, as I say, they're going in on Sona. Sona's going to go down here. Now they might be able to oh, go on to Ash. Oh, 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 DJ, Ash kill. jumps in, flashes back. Uh, sorry, now Caitlyn flashes back. And then flash forward from Ash. This should get a Lee comes around the corner. Oh, tower dive. No, it doesn't go for it. A nice last minute goes. Uh, done by Kingdom, will wow. save her. It saves her from their one-timely death. Yeah, uh, I think that should have been a kill. I think the three of them possibly could have um, done the tower dive. But uh, that will force the Caitlyn back, and they've got a very good chance to take this bottom tower now. Uh, scoreboard currently looking at 3-2, but a tower is worth 150 gold for each team member. So um, if they pick this up, this will give them uh, the advantage, and I think there's nothing which is going to stop them, to be Chance, honest. Chances are bottom lane is going to go down from here. And will Doctor be able to do anything about it? Um, no, but Ash will get the tower kill right there, so it looks like the first tower of the game has gone down, and that will be bottom lane uh, on the girl side. Yeah, so bottom tower's gone down, the game master's now definitely taking the gold advantage. It's still uh, a good battle at the top at the moment. Uh, not too much uh, nuking going on between those two, but uh, only looking mid. Annie is looking like she's going to suffer to the hands of Brand here. That's pretty good. I, I guess now, uh, the main idea for bottom lane is to get your range 80 carry to farm up as much as possible. Oh, it looks like Brand uh, kills Jasmine one more time. Yeah, as I said, Brand can oh, in and did some damage. Yeah, comes in. Oh, a stun there! Lee Sin might be in trouble here. Lee Sin might be in trouble there. Does he still there. have ult? No, he probably used that on the, uh, on the Annie. Yep, she didn't she did have any other skills right there. They're so close though. Letting that really nice here to stun out the Lee Sin. Following up with Great Bill of Flame. Uh, looks like she has uh, her dominance in there right now, this Brand. Yeah, so at the moment with that bottom tower down, the question is whether or not uh, Jana or Ash will come push towards middle and uh, help out 
I can tell you what, Jamin though has just got oracles and uh, taking out uh, the ward just outside Drag. Ward's been there to show whether or not there's anything. Let's have a quick look at the items. Uh, everything's still pretty stock standard. We're still on dual blades. Oh, Ripple's Lance has already come out on Lee Sing. Just kiss. And on their jungle as well. So we've got the Riggles out. Baron be, be really aggressive on top lane right now. He knows he has that lane sustenance, that lane pushing ability, and he's gonna abuse it. Yeah, Garen's got a good push on on that top lane. Right? He's past so his halfway mark. He's gotta be careful of Nocturne. I'm sure Nocturne could come up again. Uh, I don't know whether or not Nocturne's gonna want to. They probably wanna push back down on that middle lane. Focus going on on Jana at the moment from the Cadence. So she's backed up a little bit, but she hasn't taken that much damage, so should be alright now, Bob there. Oh, uh, this is going to be fun. We're going to see, that's right, we're going to see a brand with blue buff going back to the lane. That's going to be really strong now. I don't think any will stand any chance at all for this. Yeah, at the same time you were saying that, Lee Sings managed to pick up the, uh, the blue buff on the other side. Uh, obviously not as powerful as if Annie had it, but uh, Lee Sing, you know, Probably, uh, probably keen to use that. I'll tell you what, he's uh, he's looking at lining up the gank at the moment, and he's going to come in on the top. There we go. He throws forward one shot. Garen goes in. It looks like two goes one on the tower. Amazing, Great amazing. move. Yeah, this job is in the worlds of pain. Goes on. Throws oh, on his own. Now a beautiful cataclysm catches the Lee Sin inside, and uh, he will go down as well. Yeah, Lee Sin goes down to the tower. Just uh, you know, took too much damage from the tower. Didn't get yep. out in time. Just too much. Oh, it looks like Brad is punishing Eddie. Now put that blue button. Darkness, who's that on? Also comes out. Oh, that's on bottom. Ash has gone down really oh, quickly. Zara was out of lane. Um, hunting down oh, some more yeah. woods. Oh, we Nocturne need to now chasing chase. down Jana. That was a good ulti uh, done by Nocturne. Just to dive in and uh, get rid of the opponent's carry. That was good. Annie is constantly potting. She's just had like... <laughs> The green coming out of her the full time because she's just always got it on. There's nothing much you can do really. Um, as long as that brand has the blue buff, he'll be spamming her with spells non-stop and, uh, and he just can't take that kind of beatdown. No, look, as I always say, brand is OP and uh, <laughs> he's a very, very strong champ. Unless you've uh, got some exceptional micro, you're not going to get around him. That's the price of pity. That's the price of pity. Brandon recognition. Um, Lee Sin coming in bottom at the moment. He's just uh, ticked up on to uh, Caitlin.